everyone. So today we'll uh, find out what is the concept behind KNN algorithm. Okay. So what is KNN algorithm? It is K nearest neighbor. Okay. So it depends on the concept of neighbors. Okay. So it is a K nearest neighbors. Okay. Uh, so this is used for uh, classification and regression, both types of problems, classification and regression problem. Okay, so mainly it is a supervised machine learning algorithm used for both classification and regression problem. So let's see first how it works for classification problem. Okay, so for classification problem, so let, let's assume that we have some data set. Okay, so for example, we have some data set if the person is sick or not. So sick, we are representing it by one and not sick, we are representing it by zero. So uh, based on some BP values, from some glucose level, okay, and some other readings, uh, what is our target if the person is sick or not? Okay, so we have two classes, sick and not sick. Okay, so let's make it on 2D graph. So this is one class or one category. Okay, so let's assume we have another category. So this is our another category. Let's assume this is category one and this is category zero. Okay, so uh, we have a new data point that comes. Okay, so now a new data data point will come, and we have to find out to which category that data points belongs to. Okay, so let's assume this is a green is our new data point, and we have to find out if that person is sick or not sick. Okay, so what, uh, K, how KNN will work? It works on the concept of neighbors. Okay, so it will find out, first find out what are its nearest neighbors. Okay, so for example, we have decided that we will rely on five nearest neighbors. Okay, we will decide our output on the basis of five nearest neighbors. Okay, so this K is the value five here. Okay, k equals to 5. k is the number of nearest neighbor we are considering to find out the value of our new point. Okay, so here k is equals to 5. So based on 5 nearest neighbor, we have to find out if the person is sick or not. Okay, so it how it will find the nearest neighbor? It will calculate distance from each and every data point and whatever the lowest distance Okay, so what, what are the nearest neighbor that are, uh, that has a le least distance from this data point, right? So uh, we'll find the five points that are nearest to this point. And how it will calculate distance from each data point with the help of Manhattan distance, Manhattan distance or Euclidean distance. Okay. So with the help of these distances, it will find out which are the nearest neighbor. Okay, so this is our first step to find out which are the nearest neighbors. Okay, so for example, it find out that three red are nearest and two blue are nearest to us, right? So total five are there, five nearest neighbor. Out of that, three are red neighbors and two are blue neighbors. Okay, so now based on majority voting, or the majority uh, class, it will uh, it will allocate that class to new data point. So here, three are majority, red, red are majority. So this green point will be belong to red class, means one and means the person is sick. Got it? How it works in classification problem, right? So it will find the nearest neighbor and nearest neighbor which category has most data points, it will allocate that category to the new data point. Okay, so let's now see how it works for regression problem. Okay, 
So in regression problem, for example, we have these data points and I am considering the data set for house prediction data set, house price prediction. So based on number of rooms, number of AC, area of the house, we have to find the price of the house, okay? So let's assume that we are plotting these points on the graph. So these are our data points, okay? So now a new data point comes, a new data point will come, and for this data point, we have to find what is the price of the house, okay? So now how it works in regression, again, same concept. We, for example, we will find that we will rely on five nearest neighbors to find the price of the house. So based on the distances using Manhattan and Euclidean distance, it will find the nearest neighbors. Okay, so five nearest neighbors will be considered. And how it works, for example, these one, two, three, four, five are nearest neighbors to it. So it will find the mean of these five neighbors, mean or average of these five neighbors, five nearest neighbors. Okay, so like this, it works in regression problem. For classification problem, it will work for majority class and for regression problem, it will take mean of all these points, okay? So for example, this point says, this point has price of five, uh, 50 lakhs. This point has five uh, price of 52 lakhs. This point has price of 53 lakhs. This point has price of 52.5 lakhs. This point has price for 51 lakhs. So what will be the output for this point? The mean of all these points, okay? So like this, it will calculate for regression problem. This is the simple concept behind a nearest neighbors.